So, a little while ago, like in December, I heard that Disney was having a, a live-action movie called Descendants, which stars the descendants of famous Disney villains. I loved that idea. I thought it could actually be cool to unite some fairy tales. I saw the movie. Boy, it fails in a variety of ways. So, before I go all out rant mode on this movie, trust me, I will. I have to address one of the few positive, uh, a positive of this movie. Kristen Chenoweth. Yes, they have her playing Maleficent, and she hits it out of the park. She's the best actress in it, and she does a really good job. Also, with many of the villain designs, they got them down. Aside from Jafar and the Evil Queen, and but for Maleficent at least, and Cruella de Vil, they were decent there. Um, um, so, let's start off with what I think. So, basically, the prince who's the descendant of Beast and Belle has decided he's going to welcome Jafar's kid. Didn't get his name. No, I think his name's Jay. Um, Melnison's kid, who's the main star of this. Dove Cameron plays her. Cameron Boyce plays Cru Cruella de Vil's and the only reason I think he was here for, was for marketing. And the evil queen's daughter. Okay, let me just say, right now, these characters are hard to work with. They really, really are. It's frustrating to see how, well, yeah, this is your stereotypical high school story with a little parental abuse pushed into it. How it's the parental abuse? Well, the villains pressuring their kids into doing one side. Oh my goodness. But anyway, it's a generic high school story. That's pretty much it. Fall in love. Oh, and you know what? Just for the Disney symbol, um, so we can just mask it in further, let's add magic. Historic items. Oh. And the Disney signature song. Yes, that's right. I'm saying that this movie is one of Disney's most. Disney failed so much here, and I'm and I don't say this much about them, but trust me, when they're when it comes to their live action, they fail a lot. The last truly I loved it show that they had was Wizards. Really placed, which I'll say is a great show. Um, but so, how does this movie fail? How does it? Well, let's just look into it. So, as our our standard high school story goes, we get one song in the middle. We get songs throughout. These songs are obnoxious and could be replaced by every other thing, especially since. Oh my goodness, we picked Dove Cameron as our star, and we expected her to sing. Yeah. Disney wasn't too bright here. They really, really weren't. So, what keeps this movie from being amongst the worst? Kristen Chenoweth. I repeat a lot of things in my reviews, but let me just say, so... But from the same people, they decided to give her only one song. One. How many does Dove Cameron get? Too many. Four, four or five, I believe. So, in short, the sentence fails in this musical aspect that it's trying to go for. How do Roman? How does the exposition fail? This movie. They wasted a little bit of our time to say, oh yeah, the love spell's off. Oh, love spell. Stuff like that. The characters are all jerks. Taking brilliant, brilliant inspiration from the movie Maleficent. The fairy godmother is not very likable. The kids. 
slightly likable, okay? The villains, most of them not likable. And I'm sorry if this is a huge nitpick rant I'm about to do, but this story shouldn't even exist. How can I say this? Beauty and the Beast, I believe this is supposed to be like an 1800s French film. It's set in that time period. Aladdin, one of the other movies they draw from, is an ancient Arabian film. Maleficent, probably even earlier than Beauty and the Beast. I meant, I meant Sleeping Beauty. Sorry, I... Let's see. Um, oh, yeah. 101 Dalmatians. That, I'd say, is the 1900s. They have cars. And finally... And Snow White. Another more ancient-ish film. If you're going to use its fantasy for it... Oh, and get this. So in this world they've created TVs, movies, Wi-Fi, phones, it all exists. So let's just nail this coffin right here. I am going to get this done and out of the way. You have put four, no, five sto- No, they even have Mulan in it. Oh, and- People complain about the race bending in Avatar in the movie The Last Airbender. Well, yeah, that's race bending. But they also race bend this. Neither um, Jafar and um, Hit and Jay, I believe, nor Mulan actually look like they've descended. Also, also, we had Sleeping Beauty's grandmother for an added character that's against the main cast. But so, as we say this, so, you automatically set it into a different universe than anyone. If you want marketing, you better say, this is a Disney live-action movie fairy tale universe. Because, yeah, that's what this is. They brought all these things into modern times, not even caring about the original properties. Descendants, why did you do that? Look, you want to do a modern story? Remove the villains and put normal kids in. I know it would be boring, but if you want to do this type, there. Now, you have to throw in. No, I'm done with this movie. Descendants, 2 out of 10. No, 3 out of 10. Kristen Chenoweth, you have saved this movie from being a 0 out of 10. Thanks for watching this review of Disney's Descendants.